good. Write out the way you feel. And it will help you forgive. And so, I obeyed. Dear Elizabeth, prior to meeting you, I used to tell my friends that love at first sight and even at second sight is illogical, irrational, just infatuation, and it's probably a sin. Until I met him. <laughs> the first day I met you, I finally believed the scripture that said, we are beautifully and wonderfully made. I knew God took his time when he was creating you. Because, because, I felt God made you a beauty standard other women would look up to. Who could that be? I would never have thought that you had a crush on me as well. Who would have thought that we would be far more than friends? You were my love, my heart, and my soul. The only lady that made me whole. <laughs> you made me laugh when I wanted to cry. You made me smile when I wanted to frown. You told me you couldn't wait to be a mother to my kids. You told me every time I called your name, Elizabeth, it made you blush. You told me I made you feel like you were the only existing woman in the entire world. I used to... I used to like you, Elizabeth. We were in love. At least, that's what I thought. I used to like to watch you cook. I used to like to see how you used the knife to slice tomatoes and peppers slowly <laughs> and nicely. But, but I never knew that you would do the same thing to my heart. <laughs> I wish you ended the relationship by saying, Tolu, it's over. At least, I would have gotten a fighting chance. But instead, Elizabeth, you gradually starved me of your attention, your presence, and your love. It's like you were there, but you were not there. You started telling me that I was not good, and that I would never be good enough for you. You told me I was only as good as I was useful. And that all I did was take up unnecessary space in your life. <laughs> you took all my insecurities and turned it into an atomic bomb and dropped it on me and made sure Hiroshima and Nagasaki was an understatement. <laughs> but still, but still, I had hope. I had hope. Hope that the Elizabeth that I fell in love with was still in there, somewhere. And so I waited. I waited like a seven-year-old girl, waiting for her father who went out to buy milk three years ago and has not returned. But I stopped waiting when I found out that there was another man in the picture. And cheating was the reward <laughs> breakfast you served the long love I had for you. As I got drunk in my salty tears, <laughs> day and night, I learned that no human can make you whole. And that you were not the first love I thought you were. Jesus was. He saved me, 
He saved me from me. He saved me from the bottomless bottles of alcohol and the rolling spree of being a playboy that I was due to the heartbreak that I had. He gave me purpose. And so I am here to say this to you, Elizabeth. From the deepest part of my heart, I forgive you.